welcome back to my channel and welcome to this Zara haul which I'm gonna say it I say it a lot and it's probably annoying but this is the God's honest Girl Scout truth that I cannot believe that it is June like how are we in June already I cannot quite believe this like we are in summer now this is absolutely crazy so I've got loads of summer bits loads of holiday bits etc etc if my face looks a little bit darker than my legs and the rest of my body it's because the tan on these like the rest of my body is starting to fade a little bit but I'm going to Ibiza next week so I don't want to put fake tan on because I want to be building on the natural tan so if I'm looking a little bit um I don't know like patchworky different color vibes going on don't worry about it just ignore it but yeah Cesar haul today everything will be linked down below along my Instagram and my TikTok which I'll pop on screen here same username for both of them you should go over and follow me um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you the mug of choice. I've got my pink Le Creuset one today. I was wearing a suit little, like, two-piece a minute ago, but I just wasn't feeling it. I just wanted to be wearing my little goat t-shirt, so I've ended up changing, but I chose the mug to kind of go with the suit, and now I've gone with the goat t-shirt, but it still works. It's a pink little Le Creuset mug. My curtain bangs still need a trim. They're still a little bit long, but I put some super strong hairspray on them today to try and hold them up and it worked really well. And then I changed into this t-shirt and this t-shirt's really tight on the neck. So I literally had to yank it over my head and now it's just like completely messed up my hair. So just ignore that. Basically my hairdresser lives really far away from me. So there's no point in me going all the way to see her just for her to cut my curtain bangs because I don't want the rest of my hair cut. So I'm tempted to get mum to do it, which is a risk, but I just haven't got around to doing it, so just bear with me. Anyway, enough of the intro, I'm going to get straight on with the video, and we are going to start with this beautiful dress. This is giving me, I'm going on my, what is the word, not honeymoon, not bridal party, it kind of is a bridal, hen party, there we go. I'm going on a hen party to Mykonos, or I'm on my honeymoon in the Maldives, kind of, I'm going to wear this in the evening on holiday, or, like me, you could just not be married and still wear it anyway. Um, but it's basically this like satin white dress. It's got like a little cut out on the back as well, which I didn't realise. Oh God, Lord above, this curtain bang. Give me strength. I'm going to get them cut, okay? And then they'll hopefully start holding their shape better. Anyway, looks like so. So it's got this kind of like boob bra -y detailing kind of stitching detail there and then it just goes straight down and these satin dresses were so popular on Zara last year and they've obviously like I find um with Zara if something's really really popular the year before they will bring it out again the following like year like following summer or whatever which is what they've done with this um it's got a slit on one side and then like I was saying on the back it's got this kind of like strap detailing like that which is adjustable and then this kind of band and then an open bit there and then they do also do it in a pink which is fully out of stock at the moment so I'm waiting for it to, uh, I'm waiting for that to come back in stock but that'll probably hopefully be in the next Zara haul that I'll show you but they also do it in this green which I thought I'd get it's giving me hmm what color are you giving me this is giving me like artificially colored apple slushy that if you gave to a five-year-old would send them bouncing off the walls for about six hours but I kind of like it um so exact same dress looks like so for reference i got these both in a size extra small and i'm five foot five and i'm a size six and yeah literally the exact same dress don't really need to talk about it because it's the exact same and these were 45.99 each so a little bit pricey but they are really nicely made they're like maxi dresses they look really nice on they kind of yeah i feel like you could justify the price for them like they do look nice enough on they don't look cheap but you just want to make sure you're gonna like to be fair i feel like you'd wear this maybe like this one year after year and then I feel like price per wear or like cost per wear is what you've got to analyse it by. And that would be quite good. Does that make sense? Next up, we will go, if I can find all the pieces for it. Is that it? I think this is it. We have like a little suit set, like a little two piece. So this is like a little waistcoat, kind of a smart looking kind of vibe. Good for like office wear or for like an occasion but not a wedding unless the bride doesn't mind you wearing white obviously so we have a little waistcoat looks like so this is really cute this i got in an extra small just got like pockets and buttons and then these are the trousers and these are like a collot and i wasn't too well like a cropped collot i wasn't too sure on that because part of me was like it can look quite nice if they're cropped especially if you've got a nice pair of heels on with it because you can show the heels off well but i don't know I wasn't sure about the cropped with the waistcoat. I don't know why. Just wasn't giving me the vibes that I wanted. But I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Um, so these just look like so. Little cropped wide leg clots. These again I've got in an extra small. And they're literally just like pockets in the front. Pockets in the back. Basic trouser. We don't need to ramble on about them for ages. But it's a little two piece waistcoat cute thing. Okay cool. Anyway next up. I need to get the other box. This box is like not giving me the things that I'm wanting. So I'm going to have to try and like just 
pull oh we're ripping the box there we go we've got it we have got it let me just give it a little swivel next up i got this this is from the kids section it's like a little um beige bucket hat now i've never really been a fan of bucket hat in fact i would go as far as saying a couple of years ago i was an avid hater of a bucket hat maybe not an avid hater but i was not a fan of them however when i saw this in the zara kids section and i saw you could get your name on it sign me up left right and center i was that child okay that did not have their name on anything in the gift shops it always used to be georgia i'm not a georgia i'm a georgie like ends of doesn't really work so if i wanted something that had my name on i'd just get george it was the next best thing so now that zara do this editing personalization thing i can finally have my proper like well i say my proper name technically that's not my government name but you know what i mean i can have my name on things i.e this bucket hat so i just got georgie on it you can literally have whatever you want i mean if you try to put something inappropriate on it they might decline the sale but i'm not sure i haven't personally tried it but i got my name personalized on it and you can choose from three different fonts i think and about like six different colors i was a millenarian between a black and a white but i went with white they had like a beautiful like bright orange and like a lime green color like kind of neon colors um but i went with the white which is quite subtle which i quite like obviously the black would stand out more but like i was literally 50 50 so i just said to sophia like pick me a color and whatever color you pick me i'm getting because i can't decide so this is what it looks like i think i can't remember what font number i got i think it was two it's the one that looks like times new roman i feel like if you wanted to get the same font you'd be able to like work it out because there's only three to pick from um and this i got in a size 10 to 14 it's 10.99 two pound personalization but what i would always recommend doing is buying it unpersonalized to start with to try on and make sure it fits because this is like a linen style one and then they had a denim style one which is the same color and i ordered the denim style one to try it and it was so small it didn't fit my head but this just fits so definitely try it before you get it personalized because once it's personalized you can't return it but yeah 10 to 14 i've got a pretty large head i would go out there and say and this does fit me so i feel like you're probably going to be all right and it's just cute like just for sitting around the pool and stuff with like my name on my hat so cute i loved it then i got this top i wouldn't normally go for this top but i saw a girl wearing this on tiktok with like a pair of the classic zara trousers which i already have which is why i didn't order them and it looked really nice so i thought i'd give it a go and order it so it's like this ribbed um like got a collar on it kind of some words was in my brain then and it's just gone um i'm not sure what that word was if you know what it was fill it in for me but i'm not sure um collar buttons kind of an open v-neck type thing yeah got it um don't even know what else to say about it so small 15.99 the word like it's giving me vibes of some sort and i'm not like it was giving me vibes a second ago and now someone's turned the power off so the vibes aren't coming and i can't think what it was i don't know but anyway i thought this with those little zara trousers would look cute i didn't think it would some other girl thought it would look cute i saw it in a tiktok thought that's a nice outfit so i ordered the top get it capiche capiche does that i don't even know what capiche means but capiche then i got some shorts these are some little bermuda shorts i love the color of these these are like a mushroomy color i absolutely hate mushrooms they are honestly bottom of my like foods i dislike cucumber and mushrooms i just absolutely hate and like people find it so bizarre that i don't like cucumbers and i kind of find it bizarre as well because they're like oh it's like mostly water how can you not like it and i'm just like i don't like the taste okay and i've tried to like it because i really want to like cucumber but I just can't get on board of it. But anyway, love the colour, even though I hate mushrooms. It's kind of like a grey beige, a greyish, some may say. Um, absolutely love. We have pleating details. Kind of long, but you could always get them altered. Altered? Oh, oh what? Could always get them altered. Oh, that's throwing me off now. Altered. Altered. You could get them cropped if you wanted to which i am tempted to do maybe just get them taken up a little bit um but yeah love the pleating detail pockets on the back belt loops got them in an extra small 25.99 these i'd wear with like a little cropped shirt kind of tucked in well i say cropped shirt like a shirt tucked in um i'd wear them with like a white vest top simple like um t-shirt top like i feel like they are really versatile and they're quite like a formal pair of shorts in a way because of the length of them and the fact they've got the pleating detail but i just love them they're like a short version of the kind of trousers that i like to wear so it's like a perfect option for summer next up we have this bodysuit which is going to be one of those things it's just like you're not really going to be able to see what it looks like until you see it on in the trial clips so it's going to be kind of tricky to hold up i feel like but it's basically an asymmetric bodysuit so it's like the one shoulder but it has this like 
cutout detailing here. So you've got like a little strip here, like I said. You can see it on the triangle, it's be so much easier. Um, it's a proper bodysuit, which we love because a couple of years back, Zara's bodysuits were always just like a swimsuit kind of vibe and it was really annoying, like if you wanted to go to the toilet. But now they seem to always do poppers, which I'm a big fan of. And yeah, other than that, it's just like a kind of really nice, thick, classic Zara material. I feel like they do a lot of things in this material. It's just like nice and thick and stretchy. And this I got in a size small. And like with some black trousers, some mum jeans or something. Super cute. My hair though is not. I just, you know the problem is, I see myself, I'm watching myself in the viewfinder whilst I'm filming this video. And it just puts me off because my hair just looks so rubbish. I think when I got my curtain bangs cut, I was absolutely loving my hair. But now they're too long, like I've said about 12,000 times. So they're just like not holding themselves. They're too heavy and I just, I need to sort it out. I just need to sort it out. Then I got this skirt and I'm not not sure if I'm feeling her the color is just not quite right like I'd rather this be like a beige or a cream whereas this is a very yellowy like apricotty sort of color but what I loved about it was the little shell detailing around the waist I thought this would be lovely on holiday with just like a simple crop top obviously it's gonna be quite warm well hopefully if you're going on holiday it'd be warm um so just like a nice skirt of a little crop top but the colour is just really putting me off. I'm just not really a fan of this. And I just feel like this skirt would be a lot, lot nicer if it was just in like more of an oatmeal-y colour. Or even like this colour. Do you know what I mean? Like this is just... I'm not, this is almost giving me baby puke colour. Which is not a cute colour. Anyway, extra small though. 32 99 I think she's going to be returned though. It's just such a shame because I love the little... um show detailing like i said but mm, i'm not sure i feel like in every zara haul and in most of my hauls i have to have a slightly random item that is slightly questionable but something about it sucks me in i love a novelty random thing and for this haul it is this top it's a little white ribbed t-shirt really nice t-shirt in itself if you look at it like from the back it's just like a little baby tee kind of cropped really like tight fitted t-shirt but it's got the Kit Kat logo on the front and they did also do one in brown with the Chubba Chups logo on but I just wasn't feeling the brown but I love this white and it's just so random that it's a Kit Kat t-shirt like where like I'd love to be a fly on the wall in the Zara boardroom meetings and them discussing who they're going to collaborate with because they've had like the most random collaborations like we've got Kit Kat we've got Chubba Chups they've done a collaboration with McDonald's before um, they've done a Barbie collaboration, which kind of is a little bit more understandable. I can't think of any other collaborations, but they've literally done collaborations of like every brand under the sun. Um, and this Kit Kat one just made me laugh. Like, what are we going to wear this with, Georgie? Like, this is just not, it's my, it's not my style. Like, I wouldn't go out wearing a t-shirt with a brand on, but like, I love the novelty aspect. So like, where am I wearing this to? I don't know. It's just cute. And I was thinking like, get a picture in this, my Instagram have a break as the caption do you get it like have a break have a kit kat i don't know what i was thinking i just got sucked in by the fact it had kit kat on it i'm an i'm a sucker for novelty and it's like carrying on similarly with novelty i got this little swimsuit but this was from the kids section i got in a 13 to 14 um i think that should actually fit that doesn't look too bad of a sizing but it's like this little pink or like pinky purple with smiley faces on it i just thought that was so cute and then the back looks like that i mean the vibes of this is just what does that tag say it says upf 50 plus uv protection how on god's earth does a swimsuit give me more information about this how does a swimsuit have uva protection in it i'm confused if you could let me know about that in the comments please educate me um yeah not very like sexy ibiza vibes but i just love the colors of it and i thought it was cute and it's got like a slightly lower back on it as well really really random but i did like it and then actually carrying on with swimwear zara have brought out a few um like swimwear bits and stuff i have ordered some more but they've not arrived yet so they'll be in the next haul but i thought i would show you this one so it's like a little black bandeau kind of ruffle top um really nice like kind of fitted um like top as well like the way they've done the bra bit actually feels like a like well let me start this again the way they've done the bit that goes around the boobs actually feels like a bra so i feel like it's going to give you a little bit more support than maybe like a normal bandai bikini top would and it's just going to like fit that bit nicer so you've got like the little ruffles and then it just does up on the back and this was 19.99 um they do also do this in a white as well but it's currently out of stock so i haven't managed to get it yet and then you can get these matching um bottoms to go with it which are like wow these are super high-waisted they just is that the front of the back there we go this is the front they look like this so like super super high-waisted so really nice and flattering put that on there bish bash bosh got a little black bikini on um and they're just like normal bottoms they're not thong bottoms and these were 
$17.99 and like I said they did it in a white and I just thought it was kind of like a cute swimsuit and I feel like Zara, I love Zara's clothes for their quality so I thought I'd give their swimwear a try as well for the quality. Then I got this dress, I loved the colour of this, it's kind of like a sagey green colour and it's just that like classic Zara dress. If you do not have one of these in your wardrobe I feel like you need one. I feel like most girls have this dress in at least one colour. I have it in the black. Um, I think they probably still do it in the black. They seem to come out with it every year. But it's just those like, you see, the neckline, the long dress, the little slit at the back. Like if you're a Zara fan like me, you probably knew what this dress was before I even showed you it. Um, I just love these dresses. So flattering, so easy to chuck on, so comfy, but they just look so good. And this was $15.99 as well. So it's an absolute bargain. Like it's a win, win, win. And if you don't like this colour, like I said, they do it in so many different colours. So there's not really much to complain about. Then I got this from the kids section. You know me, I love to get things from sections that aren't just the women's section. And this I thought was kind of cute. It's a little dungaree kind of play suit, but it's one shouldered. It's asymmetric. And I really like that. I thought that was kind of cool. And then like wherever like a cute little crop top underneath could look absolutely adorable. This I got in a 13 to 14, which is what I always get like Zara kids items in because it's the largest size that they do. And I just thought this was super sweet. And then like this is the back like little shorts and this was only 22 99 which is so good and I just love the asymmetric I thought it was a little bit different and the fact it's white as well gets 10 points from me because it's neutral so we all know I love that and then lastly for this haul I just got these two caps they did maybe three I think they definitely did at least one more color um but I think it was like a purpley color but I just wasn't really feeling what it was saying but I got the green and the orange and they're like a kind of slightly washed acid wash vintagey they're not acidy wash too much but they're like a kind of vintage kind of ness to them so the orange one says hola summer um that's right really i just like the color and then this one i liked the green but i wasn't i liked the green but i preferred the orange however this one said this round is on me as in like you know getting a round of drinks and i thought this would be quite cool for like a little instagram picture with some drinks next to it that's unfortunately how my mind works as a content creator. Like some people might think it's lame, but I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, two little hats to end this little haul on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've just realized I've had my mug down there this whole video and I've not taken a single sip from it other than right at the start of the video. But oh well, that's okay. We'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I've just said the same thing, haven't I? We'd rather have it and not need it then need it and not have it. I think that's what, yeah, that's what I was meant to say. Um, I'm gonna do something about these curtain bangs because they're really starting to do my head in and they're probably doing your head in with the amount of times I'm touching them and moaning about them and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. La, 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 la. And I shall see you at some point soon with another video. Bye.